Hello and welcome. I discovered this uh, Settlers 3 um, re-implementation by accident and I got curious. It's supposed to be easy to compile because it has AUR packages already ready. So let's uh, try that out. Just gonna open a terminal and I believe the readme here should be useful. Uh, AUR? Yeah, here is it. Here it is. Install jsettlers git from AUR. I already have a bunch of stuff installed. You can check out my LinWarrior and before that the DNT compile videos if you're interested. Uh, yay s jsettlers git. So let's try to get this. Yay S and this thing. Settler stream dash demos dash data. I don't want to see anything and just go for it, yay. Alright, here we are. Let's try J Settlers. Oh, it's just J Settlers apparently. <laughs> I like that. I need help. I like that button. Yeah, so uh, path. No, no info about enter path. Jeez. Uh, okay. Let's uh, yay uh, Q. Whatever that was. Darn it! How do we get the? I guess with L we get the list of files. Okay. Well, um, user shade just settlers, I suppose. Oh, sh oh, shoot. Oh, right, right, right. S3, right? All right. So now we can launch it. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Resolution doesn't work out. Is this a close button? I guess so. There we go. All right. Uh, let's just ignore the resolution. F issues and start a single can we change the resolution no we can not i guess go for i i don't know start single player game um yeah let's go for small island only j settlers imported i see well uh, heck, let's, yeah, let's do the demo for nostalgia's sake. Is this a button? Oh, I can resize this. Cool. Uh, how do I double click? Yeah, double click. I guess we start with two players. Sure, why not? No, you know what? Let's start. Oh, okay. That's all the, all the players we can get. I guess maybe a number map would allow more because I want to have a teammate. Oh, it, it worked. Oh, that is nostalgic. That is nostalgic, I gotta say. Uh, arrow keys do not work. WASD does not work. Right click to move. Left drag to select. Uh, okay. Th this is weird. Uh, if I right click, they. If I right click this X. First of all, it disappears quickly. Second of all, it appears not where, I, where my. Cursor clicks. Whatever. Let's build something. We got small residence, sawmill, woodcutter's hut. Uh, we got stonecutter's hut. Now, what would be the next step? I guess we would maybe get pioneers or we would just build. Uh, do we need a sawmill? Is this a sawmill? Yeah, we do have a sawmill. Um, do, do I get tooltips? I don't rem remember what this is. Oh, okay, so I don't get a pre... Do I not get a preview? Usually when you move these buildings around, you see kind of an outline. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Uh, Forrester said, okay, my, my bad. Uh, can I cancel this? Cancel, 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 cancel. No, destroy, destroy. Yeah, that was because uh, I don't want that. Uh, okay, oh, there we go. Now I have tooltips. Iron smelter, gold mine. I guess I want a uh, farm. Fisherman's hut. Let's start with that. There you go. And uh, what do farms look like? Grain farm, there we go. This uh, this is good. Yeah, whatever, let's just place one here. And another, uh, yeah, another wood cutter. Maybe that was too far. And are these military ones? No. Hmm. So basically we are not limited in what we can build. Yeah, let's get some more settlers. Actually, no, no, not there. Do, the, do they really have no destruction sound? That might be actually legit. Okay, let's put this here. And I'm, I want a... not a harbor. I always dislike chips. It, it was just one edge. Too edgy. Too edgy for me. Uh, I want... Oh, there we go. There are the military buildings. Let's just get simple stuff. Guard tower over there. Guard... Over... Fear. You guys, you need to... Spread out. Now, I'm not gonna play around with controls, because I'm sure there's some button for... Uh, for speeding up. Heck, why not? F7? F8? F9? F10? F11? F12? Whoa, F F12? The game is respond... Okay, I don't know what it says, but I think it's a warning about... Yeah, check it out. They finished this, and we missed all the action. Oh, my bad. Let's try it again. Basically, there's a built-in speed-up function, and that is a good thing. Stone cutter over here, wood cutter over yonder. I guess we're gonna... Hmm, ch okay. Same, same game over here. And now we're gonna lean back and enjoy the show. Can we zoom in? Oh, we can zoom in. And go. 12. And 12. And we're gonna watch this finish. Mm, that was it. I like how far we can zoom out. That is awesome. I don't know if that was uh, possible in the original. So this is fantastic. Quite fantastic how it, this works. Now the farms... Okay, this one is planting over there. Did you just... Let me just make you plant over here. Maybe that's better. I'm not exactly sure where they should be planting their stuff. Is there a way for me to see space? Hmm. Oh yeah, the micromanagement. I remember there is this crazy... Oh, there's this crazy thing where you can micromanage them to have a field there, a field there, and circle around all the time. Is there an automatic thing for them doing this? I don't think so. Can we get a geologist? Maybe that's not uh, built in yet. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty impressive. Okay, so he started... What? What? So they aren't doing their fields automatically, or I just am confused? So pixely. But oh, so nostalgic. I am either losing units or they are just being used up by me expanding. Oh, oh, oh. Mean. My guys are mean, but I do like it. So can they attack anybody? Because if they can, they are doing a hell of a bad job. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I never really played this kind of game mode. I only played single player in Settlers 3. Gotta say I preferred Settlers 2. That's it for my test. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. Until then, uh, have fun compiling stuff on Linux. Ciao!